Okay, this one is long overdue, but we're we're finally getting around to updating the Cheech Leech video. It was one of the first streamer patterns we put on the site, and since then there have been some minor changes to it. Um, but there is a new color combo that we've been playing with that's been really good. Anyway, um, the first thing you'll notice is we're using different hooks. We did some trocar hooks on it last time. Um, and we've played with a whole bunch of different varieties of hooks. And uh, this, this variety of hooks has been the best. The back hook is a Daiichi 2461 in size 2. It's about a 3x long straight eye streamer hook. One of the best streamer hooks that's out there. The front hook's going to be a Gamakatsu B10S size 1. Alright, so I'll start out just by dressing my, my hook. I'm using Danville's 210 denier in black. And the color of this Cheech Leech is kind of a dark red and black. And so this this color of Mega Simi Seal is black wine um, that we'll be using for this fly. So for the tail, I'm just going to take some some of the Simi Seal, preen all the fibers so that they're going the same basic direction. And you tie that in and you can kind of stroke some of the fibers out that didn't get all the way tied in and retie those in. And then just tie the, the additional fibers up the hook shank. So that's uh, basically the tail for the back half of the Cheech Leech. For the, the flash for this one, um, we've got this Grizzly Crystal Flash in black red. And uh, one cool thing, I learned this from my buddy Steve Potter, but if you just cut the corner of your Crystal Flash and then stick your scissors in like that, you can just pull out just as many fibers as you need and it doesn't get everywhere. I'm going to take three fibers. I'm going to take three fibers, tie them in on one side, loop that around, tie it in on the other side. So essentially we have three fibers on each side of the tail and trim it off. Okay, so I'm going to tie in a piece of black Palmer chenille. Just right here at the back of the fly. And then I'm going to make a dubbing loop and close off that dubbing loop and build a body of semi seal. So we've got our, our loop built. We'll twist that all up. Not too much. Now this is one of the coolest tools that we've had for a while. Comb on one end, a big fat chunk of Velcro on the other end. Sorry to disappoint you guys who went through all the lengths of finding a hotel pen with uh, Velcro. This is just a little bit better than that. So I'm going to brush that out just a little bit and then wrap it forward and it'll be pretty messy and that's just fine now we'll just wrap the Palmer chenille through the semi seal right up to the head and trim that off And now I'll take three more pieces of crystal flash and tie those in over the body. So when I tie these over the body, I want those to, to reach all the way to the end of the tail. So I'll just hold those fibers down. And then I'll fold those back over the top of itself. And now I'll whip finish it. Those are sticking up all over the place. Not a problem. Now we'll come in here with the Velcro and we'll really just brush it out. So that's basically the back half of the Cheech Leech. And yes, this does fish great just like this. Oh yeah, add some head cement. Okay, for the front half of the Cheech Leech, we got the Gamakatsu B10S in the vise. Dress it with thread real quick. And so the barbell eyes that we're using are, are different. They're these hairline balls eyes. 
in uh, the large size. These are nickel with the, the red eye. And th these actually make it easier to wrap the the head of the cheech leech. And we've been getting a lot of comments. What's a better way to to do the head? And we we have a new technique. We'll show you. So just use figure eight wraps. Attach that the eyeball, mm -hmm. and it's going to be pretty far back from the head. What did I do here? Okay, there we go. So plenty of room in front of those eyes to wrap the head of the, the cheech leech. So just kind of figure eight. You might have to wiggle those to get them centered. And uh, then wrap underneath those eyes. And then once you, you get them how you want them, put them on the underside of the hook shank. Now you can leave those on the top of the hook shank and get the cheech leech to ride upright or with the hooks upright. But I... I prefer it to, to ride hook down because I'm usually stripping this this fly not directly on the bottom. It's kind of a, a neutral buoyancy type deal. Maybe a little bit heavier than, than that, but it's kind of a suspending fly. So once we get to here, I'll add a little bit of the Zappa Gap Thin um, to seat those eyes in place. Ooh, that's a lot. If you get too much, just take a little bit off with your finger and rub it on Curtis's chair. Okay, I've got articulation wire. So I tie it in so it's a little bit longer than the than the hook goes a little bit past the eye of the hook. And then we'll wind that down a little bit down the bend of the hook because that uh that will allow the junction of this articulated fly to be a little bit further back and it won't foul as easily. If I had it right here, right where the curve starts, it would be able to, to move uh, closer to that hook point than I want it. So just wrap it down a little bit further. Um, for the beads on this, ruby red and gunmetal. All right. So I'm going to string this uh, back hook on, go back through those two beads, and don't cinch it up too tight. Give it a little bit of room just about like that so that it has some room to move. Now the back half of the hook you can stick in the vise and keep out of the way. Um, for those of you using the peak vise, I showed a, a hack a while back where you can glue a magnet right on uh, the, the rotary assembly. Shoot us an email if you want to know what that looks like. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to take these wires, bend those back, and wrap them down. Um, I always like to just dab a tiny bit of super glue on that. Now, one of the keys of the Cheech Leech is that the bot the back half moves really independently from the front half. And because of that, I don't want to impede that junction, so I'm not going to put a tail on this front half of the hook. So I'll just put the Palmer chenille, and then I'll build the body on the front the same way I did the back. And you can see that it's quite a bit shorter. And we're only going to wrap it to about right there because we need to put a whole bunch of marabou behind those eyes. Just a few wraps gets us to where we need to be. All right, now I'll just wrap that Palmer chenille through. And then we'll brush it out just like the back. All right. Now this is probably the most difficult part of the Cheech Leech. And it's not really super difficult. It's just, it takes some practice. So I'm using this Nature Spirit Prime Marabou that's super long. You can see this is one of the, the plumes. It's pretty big stuff. 
And ideally you'll find pieces of marabou with really thin stems, but if you can't find it, it's not the end of the world. So I've got a piece of black and a piece of claret. And I'm just going to find the tips and tie those in by the tips and just lay the piece of marabou over the top of the fly just like that. And if you do that you'll be able to take the next color and stack that right in there as well. So I've got these two pieces of marabou here tied in and I'm going to take them both and wrap them both at the same time. And it's okay if it's it's pretty messy right here at the first because we're going to brush it all out. So with three or four wraps we should be good. And I'm going to wiggle my thread kind of back and forth as I tie those two stems off. Now once I have that one good wrap of thread behind those, it will it'll be pretty steady, pretty sturdy. Now I'll be able to pull those back and kind of make some tight wraps right in behind those barbell eyes. Now I go in and I find the stems of the marabou and trim each one of those out individually. Alright, so it's pretty messy right now. So I'm going to pull those back and advance my thread back over the bases of those wraps and that's really going to lock those pieces of marabou in tight. So you can see how I did that. Now I'm going to take this, this brush and brush out the marabou. So now it's looking really nice. It's look like we even meant to do that. Alright, so for the, for the rubber legs on this one, I'm going to use these uh, silicone streamer legs. It's red, red glitter in black legs. I'll just take three of those legs. I'll leave them leave the tag ends on them so that they're not as difficult to work with. And I'm find the midpoint of those legs and that's right about where I'll tie that in. So I'll tie it in on one side and then this is a little trick that you can do to, to make the tie in point smaller. So I'm going to stretch those out, come under the hook shank and back out on the other side and tie those down now. So now there's minimal bulk where I tied those down. And I'll just let those kind of hang for now. Now, this is the, the part of the cheech leech. And even you can use this technique on the El Sculpito. That's, that's really key to getting a good looking fly. The heads on these flies is really what makes them stand out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with a really long dubbing loop. So I'm going to wrap that around my finger, but I'm going to go around twice. So this is two tendon ear thread. I mean, that's a pretty thick core. Um, so it's doubled over two strands of thread on each side of the dubbing loop. So that's not going to break. And you will be putting a lot of pressure on this when you're wrapping this in between the eyes. So get my dubbing loop tool in place and I'll just start building a loop. Now, closer to the eyes, up here, these first few bunches of dubbing are going to be somewhat sparser because you're going to wrap that around behind the barbell eye. So about like that. I don't know how, how much you can tell how sparse that is, but make that just a little bit sparser than the rest of the loop. And then build the rest of the, the loop all the way down to the dubbing loop tool um, with you know, a normal amount of dubbing. Okay, so I've got the loop ready. I'll twist it up. Got a little bit of marabou caught in there, that's alright. So once I have it all twisted up like this, I'm going to really brush that out well before I start wrapping it. See how my Velcro has a whole bunch of stuff in it? If you just take the tips of your scissors and go through it, let's see if I can show you. You can pull all that out of there. You can reuse it. 
anyway so I'll, I'll brush the rest of that out try to get all the big clumps out of it so they wrap easier all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull all this stuff back and wrap two times around this head okay and now before I start wrapping between the eyes I'm going to use the brush while I'm wrapping this okay so the key is now I'm going to come around this this outer eye and around it and brush it back cross it over and then I'm going to go around this eye nearest me and brush it out as I go forward and now in front of the eyes so it's kind of like a figure eight and around the eyes if that makes any sense so now with every wrap around the hook I'm taking the brush and I'm brushing it out you can see how how thick that head gets so I'm going to do that all the way until I get to the eye of the hook I'll tie that off with two wraps all right now if I did that right I should be able to come up with a pretty clean head which I have right here And I'll whip finish it and then I'll trim these rubber legs so that now they're all separated. And now I'll clean off my Velcro one more time with my scissors. And now I'll give it one last brush. So now you can see how you get that really full head, really proportionate around the eyes and everything. And that will help this Cheech Leech move a lot better in the water. Anyway, all the stuff for this Cheech Leech and a lot more found on our website, store.flyfishfood.com. And the Cheech Leech will also be featured in the Fulling Mill USA catalog. Um, so it will have this color and six other colors. So look forward for that early 2016.